My next guest is a very funny comedian and a good friend of the show. He has a CD out entitled Not Sold Out. I usually hold up CDs. We don't have one right here. All right, there's a screw up somewhere. Please welcome Mark Marin. <laughs> You're such a good man. Such a good man. Matt lo Max looks different to me. Yes, he does. <laughs> He's looking good. Uh, <laughs> you calm down. Um, how have you been, my friend? How's everything going? I am, uh, I'm great. I, no, what am I? I'm lying already. You're usually pretty miserable when you're here. Well, no, I just got back. I was in Albuquerque uh, visiting my father. Oh. Uh, which, you didn't know I grew up in Albuquerque, did you? No. Well, what it was is my parents are actually of the first generation of Jews to move as far away from their parents as possible uh, for reasons other than fleeing a country. You know, they right, just right. had to get yeah, out. They just wanted to get away, yeah. And my father's there, and uh, he's losing his mind, and he's a miserable guy. Can I just be honest? You have a father, right? Yes. All right. For guys, what... No, I was cloned. I was... <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, your, your popular TV personality, you could just... All right. Right, they may be in a lab, of course. For, I just have some advice. If you have a father and you're a guy, what you got to do is at some point you just sit down with him over coffee, lunch, look him right in the eye and say, okay, is there any way I can avoid becoming you? Is there any way? Because it's happening and I want out. Did you keep a diary? Is there a map? Don't look at me like that. These are pleasant uh, father-son conversations yeah, absolutely. you have. absolutely. And also, if you want to kick your dad's ass, do it when they're young. Because if you wait too long, it's sad. You, you know, you... <laughs> <laughs> and don't do it when they get older. You know, just wait for nature to take its course to get your payback. You know what I mean? They're... If you're mad enough at your dad to kick his ass, don't do it. Wait until he's like 90 and you're going, open up, daddy. Oh, you missed the food. You know, get it that way. You see? This is the uh, darkest material anyone's ever attempted. Come and on. I'm thrilled. Come I'm on. thrilled by what's happening right here. I'm thrilled. I don't... But this here, is... But listen to this. So here, here's what he says to me. But he, he's out of his mind. Yeah. He's out of his mind. He doesn't understand how show business works. So he doesn't see me on TV all the time, right? He sees you on TV. sees other people. So he doesn't think I'm doing well. He thinks I'm failing. So I get these weird advice. He wants to help me. So he says things like, maybe you ought to talk to Bill Maher. He seems to know what he's doing. Just talk to him. Like what? And then he says, you're on Conan tomorrow. Talk to Conan. Like, like you and I are going to sit down and you have the key. Like you're going to answer all the questions and make my life better, you know? It's ridiculous. I do have the key. What are you talking about? I can make it all happen for you. I just Really? Can we start to, now? Yeah. Can you do no, it now? No. Can we start right now? No, no, no. We won't. Right. Uh, you'll, you'll, I'll never help you. you uh, well, now, man. I've had implants in my cheeks. Um, you're living in Los Angeles now. Is this a uh, cultural... I did. I left... I left uh, New York. You want to finish the question, or should nah, I? Nah, just... that's enough. Right. People got I, the gist um... of it. I'll just uh, now. I'll just do little shreds of questions. You live L.A. now, Hulk. Yeah. Curious. Yeah. Guess what you're supposed to say. Yeah. Hulk want no. What, what you do where now? Where do I go? Um, where were we? Los Angeles. I used to live here, and it's weird in Los Angeles because when you live here, there are people always right here, like right next to you. You get on the train, they're right here. You can smell their hair. You can hear their thoughts. You know, they're right next to you. Right. And you're just sitting on the train going, okay, I'm just in me. I'm okay. I'm here. You sort of operate in New York at this weird kind of mild state of chronic tension. You know what I mean? And that mixed with coffee is a nice way to propel through life, you know? Right, right. <laughs> You get to L.A., uh -huh. and there's nobody around. You're in your car, and all that tension dissipates. And now I don't know, I don't know what to do with that energy. Right. And then I realize, I'm in L.A. a couple months, I realize what you do with the energy is you just turn it into false confidence. That's what people do in L.A. It's, and I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh -huh. Like, okay, ask me how I'm doing. How you doing? Great, man. Got a lot of things going on. <laughs> huh? That's what right? everyone in L.A. Right? Because you can't. You, can't, you know me. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm always tweaking out, you know, and you can't show people in L.A. that you got to act like you have your, you know, you have it together. Right. I, like, and I, I'm nervous about it because, like, sometimes when I say hi, it comes out, help. You, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> and people and don't LA, know what that to doesn't do work. That. that doesn't work. And the LA. other problem is, is like, I live right across the street from the Scientology Celebrity Center. I'm not strong enough for that. I mean, I don't trust myself that much. What if I wake up, I'm having a bad day, and I'm like, hey, maybe I'll just, you know, and I go in there. Right. And I just pick up the book. How, how long does it take for that to kick in? I wouldn't even read Dianetics because I'm afraid that I'm going to read it. And the next thing I know, I'm wearing a chauffeur's outfit. I'm driving a Lincoln Town car. And I'm saying, where to now, Mr. Cruz? You know what I mean? I don't want to. <laughs> uh, they're a powerful. They're a... You know, I, I rely too much on the four people that always like me here. Yeah. You do very well on this show. I'm having a great time. One of them left, by the way. Uh, now. 
I was just uh, I just took this trip uh, overseas, and we were we were near the Iraqi border. What are your feelings on this whole uh, Iraq well, situation? I, I actually don't think that the the war is actually over until like some sort of classic rock tour goes into Baghdad. You know, like a sort of like you know Coors Light brings you the Freedom or Else tour with Leonard Skinner. You know, I don't think that that the war is actually over until an American rock personality says, are you ready to rock Iraq? You know? <laughs> and then we'll know. You know, like they're now appearing at the Halliburton Pavilion, you know? Um, <laughs> and consequently, when those words are mentioned, it's also the beginning of the end of the world. So enjoy. Uh, now, uh, before we go, but, uh, oh, yeah? oh, we're leaving? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, that's the, well, there's a set amount of time that you get, and then I when it expires... It was, I thought tonight was all about Mark Night. Was Did that... you see what Tyra Banks was wearing? <laughs> I mean, you're a funny guy, and I like you, and you have good see, things to say, kidding? but Thank come God on. God you have monitors in the bathroom. Anyways, the, uh... Oh, what? What uh, don't, don't, don't fight them all one by one. No, she looked very nice, and I understand that, you know, she needed time, and now... You know, I can go talk to my friend afterwards. It's all good. <laughs> You're gonna I can get, get help elsewhere. No, 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 no. I'm going to help you, just like your dad said. Uh, Thank God. You hear that, Dad? It's going to be okay. No, he's not watching. Uh, the CD... <laughs> the CD... He's checking out an F Troop rerun. What? No, no, no. We're buddies. The CD not sold out. I always hold up a CD. I don't know why they didn't have one. There's a because screw up somewhere. You know, why I didn't, you know why I don't have one? How come? Because I didn't bring one. You didn't bring one? I usually hold them up on TV and people see the visual and then they know where to get it and everything. You gotta bring the CD. I this is a simple it. I rule. I forgot it. You can get it at my website. Very funny. A lot of war stuff. A lot of interesting political ranting. And, uh, and also done for a very small audience. Hence the title. Not sold out. See? What is wrong with them? Uh, <laughs> this Saturday night. I'm trying to open this up This Saturday and talk night. To yeah, no, no, no. This Saturday night, Mark's going to be performing at McCabe's Guitars in Santa Monica, California. That's a guitar <laughs> store. I know. My career's going great. <laughs> I love McCabe's. That's a great guitar store. Uh, all right, you're a very funny man. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. Mark Marin. We'll be right back with live. They call me good time, Charlie. All right, everybody. My next guests are here with a song from their brand new album, Birds of Prey, which hits stores today. Please welcome live. You. you don't need no friends. That was great. Hey, thank you very much. Live, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you. That is our show for the night. I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for Last Call with Cars and Dana. Goodbye, everybody.